Hello everyone. So tonight I wanted to hop on and talk through craft fair preparations that I've been doing. My intro I just learned was all messed up from screaming children and it was just all over the place. So I wanted to let you know what the video is all about and to um, at least get the intro done without screaming kids in the background, but I can hear them now. So enjoy and we can talk through all of the details about the craft fair and if you have any good ideas feel free to comment below and let me know what you think all right now to the video i woke up super early this morning and i feel very accomplished i got my homework done i started i started last night i did homework last night until about midnight and then i woke up about uh eight this morning and I got on the computer and I started chipping away at the next assignment. I got that done around 11, got a quiz done about 12 and then I went to my mom's tiny home, looked at the solar panels. They built a solar panel thing and a little house. I'll have to show you a different time. We got home probably about five and I went out to my she shed and grabbed all my sewing stuff. It's hard to have a she shed when you are the only parent home with three kids. <laughs> so I went out to the she shed. We brought in two totes, two or three totes of fabric. Just that's how I get my creative ideas going. I had a couple of things in mind that I wanted to add to my craft fair this year. Plus, I wanted to find the stuff I already had because I don't know how many I have <laughs> of anything. So I kind of wanted to write it down and get a better price range for the items I had because they didn't sell well last year. So I'm just going to walk you through what we're doing and maybe you guys can give me some ideas. Um, the craft show is on Friday, so a whole lot of uh, not much time. But um, this week we have three. I'm counting in my head. Three Cub Scout events, and I have school on Wednesday, and then craft fair on Friday. Oh, and I start my new job tomorrow. Let's have that too. <laughs> so I have a couple things I'm doing this week. So I wanted to get really simple stuff, but. Um, I am taking orders, so that's usually how I get most of my customers at craft shows is custom orders. Okay, I'll stop talking now and let's hop into this and I'll show you what I've got so far and um, kind of my price range is what I'm thinking. I know a lot of you are going to think that I'm kind of lowballing my stuff, but it might be because um, I had it for a year or two and I just want to sell them now. So. A couple of things are still out in the shed. I'm not going to go get it. It's dark. It's cold. It's freezing temperatures, and I just don't like being cold. So I'll tell you what they are and how amazing they are. <laughs> so um, tonight I made three pouches, three zip pouches. So we've got um, this pinkish, and this is kind of like a, I want to say it's a light brown but it could be mistaken as gray. Mm, it looks like a light brown to me. But it's a brown zip and then a pink lining. Just a simple little pouch. I wanted to make a couple of these to fill. And then I've got feathers with a light zip and... So I've got a couple of those made. I made three of them tonight. I could have made more, but my kids um, are still awake. They're wild. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not really motivated to stay focused on one thing at a time. But I can see one of these nights, um, you know, cutting out a bunch of them. Sorry if you hear kids yelling in the background. They're arguing in the back room. <laughs> but I can see myself, um, you know, cutting out like 10 more and just adding a zip to them and throwing those in. The second thing I made tonight... It's not um, stitched up all the way yet because I don't have a needle and thread, or a needle, I have thread everywhere, 
but I don't have a needle to sew by hand in here. So I either have to go find one out in the shed tomorrow or just go buy a new pack because you can never have enough needles. But it's this little hello. This is like that pink peach color. And then it says, I love my grandma. And then a book goes in this pocket for bedtime stories. And it's just a cute little accent to a little girl's bed or a little boy's bed. This, um, I'll be making some like superhero ones. I'll probably have like four or five hellos, which is plenty. Um, and then what else did I do? Oh, so my son is really into perler beads. I'm sure some of you parents have heard of these things. They are tiny little beads. Come on, focus. Well, that's as best as it's going to do tonight, I guess. So these tiny, eensy-weensy beads that you put on a pegboard type thing and you fuse together with an iron. So I, this craft fair is um, at a hospital. It's, um, I work in healthcare, and so I thought it would be a cute idea to recruit my son to make little stethoscopes. And I'm going to put magnets on the back of them. We made a bunch of oh, different colors. And we're gonna put magnets on the back of them for a little fridge magnet. And I thought it was a great idea for him to participate and be a part of my craft work. He has a bunch of ornaments that he has made in the past that didn't sell. We're going to bring those back. And then he gets to keep all of his little monies and gets to buy Christmas presents with it. So he really feels accomplished that way. Um, oh, I made a little skirt that I thought would be cute with some red tights. A little red onesie. It's just a little cute circle skirt that I don't know. If it doesn't sell, then I'll just let my little girl wear it. <laughs> and then I have um oh okay, so price point. So the small zip pouches I was just gonna do for five um fabric and zipper, yeah, five dollars. I have um a couple of leftover superhero dolls that I created last year. Um, I'm going to sell those for 20 I think I was selling them for 30 but I'm just going to mark them down because these guys need ho need homes. I did wine glasses with um, things like Christmas things on them and glitter on the bottom of them and I am going to mark those down to $5. I think they were at like 8 last year and I sold a few. I, well, I sold it quite a bit of those. I'm just going to go to five and make it simple. Then I made some stockings last year that didn't sell. I'm going to drop those down to four. And then I've got some Max balloons. I'm looking around like they're right at my disposal, but they're never right here. So I'm going to sell my Max balloons for $10 just because they are um, not really popular in my area. Not a lot of people know what they are or why people want to circle on their kids' butts, but I think they're super cute and all my kids have worn them. I'm going to sell those for 10 I have a Christmas dress already made that I'm going to mark down to 10 Headbands. Uh, oh, I made a lot of headbands last year because my daughter was a newborn and um, it was simple but not many people bought them. So I think I'm gonna mark those down to $3. I also have little clip-on bow ties that I'm gonna mark down to $3. Um, oh, I have badge clips that I made. Okay, so the next thing I got were some white ceramic mugs and white, plain white plates. And I'm going to, um, I got them from Walmart. They were just the cheap, I think they were 88 cents. I'm just going to Cricut Santa's Cookies or something along those lines on here and Santa's Milk or Milk for Santa or something cute like that. Um, and then sell the set. Yeah. 
um, probably five dollars and we're back. <laughs> oh, it's been a day. So, bag clips is where we left off. So, I'm going to sell those for four dollars because people really didn't buy a lot of them. And then, um, I think the little pillows with the books is going to be eight dollars because I think that that's a pretty good price point and I think that they'll fly off the shelf. <laughs> Maybe I should make more than five. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have. Oh, I have a couple of leftover capes. And those will probably be like $4 just because of all the fabric. And then, oh, I have a newborn swaddle, like a mermaid tail swaddle that you can knot at the bottom and then unknot. I'll probably do that for 10 Um can't remember if I made little boots. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. What it comes down to is I have to go through my shed some more and see what I've had, what I have left from previous craft shows. Oh, I think I have. Oh, I do have reusable wipes, uh, a couple of cloth diapers, and Swiffer reusable Swiffer. Um, head things. Hmm. Not sure what those are called. Covers. Reusable Swiffer covers. <laughs> oh, this is getting hard. Um, so I have a couple of those left. Those sold really, really well. So I might make a couple more. Oh, and I have a couple more bigger size zipper pouches I'm going to make and one or two full size purses to display. Um, one is already sold and it's just a custom order that she said I could use in my show to display and the other is uh Oh, thanks. Okay, so my children have dissected this purse. So it will need some love and care. Oh my lord. I don't think this guy's going to craft fair at all. Actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to strip the hardware off and call it good because they have completely killed it. It was a swoon Brooklyn. And it was beautiful once upon a time, but I am learning that my machine is a wimp. My sewing machine is a wimp and it will not sew through multiple layers of vinyl. Even if I got a jean heavy duty needle and went slow. I might make another um maybe even a swim Brooklyn um out of cotton instead of vinyl and see where that gets me. Um I have a lot of options to choose from. It just comes down to time and I guess how much energy I have after starting my new job and being Cub Scouts and doing homework and going to school. I just have a couple things. I will let you know how it goes. Maybe I will vlog the craft craft fair. Maybe. There's a lot of people there and I try not to get people into my vlog without them knowing. Um, you know, just privacy stuff. So maybe I'll go around and video the vlog, the, <laughs> go around and video the craft fair and what's available and how awesome the stuff is around me and what my setup looks like and walk everyone through my thinking of the setup and, and if you have any ideas, feel free to post them so that I can, you know, cram to the last moment because there's nothing like procrastinating and waiting till the last moment to do things. So. Let's talk through this and give me some ideas and I will talk to you all soon. Have a good night.